I'm at the start of the 56k Eurobilla Trail Ultra Marathon. As you can see, everybody's behind me, just about ready to go. We're about 30 seconds away from the start. Tom will have the uh, authority to tell you to withdraw from the race if you really look uh, as if you can't complete the final section, which is a big hill. Six k's takes an hour. Uh, there's a hell of a big hill uh, at the quarry track. Four, three, two, one, off you go. Enjoy your run. Ah, oh, it's been happening, mate. We're off. Here we go. Pay to go, mate. So, just tell us what your name is and where you're from. My, my name is Kola Shibata. <laughs> And where are you from? Uh, Japan. Okay, and you've come all the way just for this race today. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, thank you very much. The good news is there's actually still a couple of people behind me. So not everyone has overtaken me yet, which is nice. Morning, so I can feel that really getting to me already. Hang on, someone's about to overtake. I better get out of the way. There you go. So I'm sure there'll be a lot more of that going on before the end of the race. Actually, quite a steep downhill bit, so I better concentrate. Happy with the time for the first 10 k's. See how we go from here. So far, feeling okay. Oh, that bench looks mighty tempting. There he is, we're all walking and this man is the machine. Oh dear, thanks so. And off he goes. Travelling okay so far, but definitely starting to feel it and uh, mentally have to really try and keep focused here because in your head you go 15 k's is a fair way but I've basically got just over 40 k's to go so I've just set my iPod up and I've set it up for marathon length which means I've essentially done 15 k's cross country and I now have to run the a distance equivalent to a marathon and through the hills so it's going to be interesting quite a good time of year with all the wildflowers just starting to come out yeah I know big deal right It's very depressing looking at that. There are about five stops on there and I'm at the first one. Oh dear. Thanks, my husband. So we're at the 20k mark where I stopped for a drink. It's 10 past 10. And the guys who started an hour after us in the Super Duper group are just getting here now. So when you've been running for when you've been running for just over three hours, the last thing you want to do is try and get through something like that. A little bit of an obstacle course. But on we go. To finish this thing in nine hours, I would have had to get to that stop by 11.55. It's 11.15 now, so I'm a little bit ahead of pace, but I am allowing for a uh, slightly slower pace in the, 
in the last half than I've uh, managed in the first half. I can tell you now that pretty much everything is hurting. On the down stretches, my toes are really causing me some problems. I tried to strap them up this morning, but without the uh, toenails on my big toes, they're uh, a little bit fragile and hurting quite a bit on the down downward hills like now uh, obviously my legs are hurting but that's fairly sort of standard and then uh, what's really causing me some grief is my back my lower back just has really kind of given up the ghost on this one and uh, I'm struggling a fair bit trying to put that out of my mind so if you were one of the people who uh, sponsored me on this run you are definitely getting your money's worth now I'm on one of the um, downhill bits that would normally be a real relief from some of the uphills that I struggle with but with my toes I'm in absolute agony I don't know what to do. I've strapped them already, they've got padding in there. So I don't know that stopping and doing anything to them is gonna make any difference. I think this now just falls into the category of gutsing it out. I don't know uh, how far it was in K's even how long it took me exactly there at least about I think maybe four or five songs on my iPod so I don't know maybe 15 or 20 minutes and just about all of it was uphill and I am really struggling my back is killing me my hips are killing me I feel like I need a few even over yet. This is where being a little bit of being a little bit in front of my goal time is going to come in handy. The only problem is I suspect I'm going to use most of that lead getting up this damn hill which means on the next bit where the really bad hill is 